for you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do. Lord, I come before you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Let me share your love and grace in all I do. Shine a light to a darkened world And always live the truth in every way May your love for me be seen by everyone And lead others to trust and love you more You commanded 
special young lady, very special guest. I guess you have seen the face last week making strides and making the news. If you please, Adventist youth life news. <laughs> well, she's here, and um, we're gonna hear a little more, but let me just introduce to you Carissa Gibbs. I have it right, yes? yes. Carissa, welcome and happy Sabbath, Carissa. Thanks, the same to you. And, and by the way, we were in the same corner, you look like Josie, yeah? Yes. You following me? No. Oh, I'm following you, which one? We just, just planned. We just, all right, all right. Well, we're glad to have you, yeah? yeah we're going to hear yeah. a little more about you later, right? Yeah. So we welcome you. Remember, folks, before we continue, we want to invite you to like the page and to share the page. Man, this, this ministry is going far and wide all across the world. Hundreds, thousands of people are being blessed. So you join us in this ministry and share and like the page with all your friends so that they can be with us on Adventist Youth Live tonight. Very interesting program tonight. Nice, just suit, suit the time that we are in. But before we go any further, as we begin our praise and worship session in a moment, let's just bow our heads wherever we are as we pray. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for your goodness and your blessings. We thank you, Lord, for uh, the week that has passed. We thank you for the Sabbath day where we can come apart again to worship you. We thank you for all of our viewer, online viewers. We thank you for every person who is involved on the studio, on the technical side. And we pray, God, tonight again, we are going to be blessed as we sit in your presence. Continue to take charge now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and yeah. amen. Right. Well, Carissa, how are you? I mean, let's talk a little bit okay. before we... You're all right? Yes, yes. That, that's all you want to tell me? How was the week? How was the week? It was challenging. Challenging? But okay, yes. But okay? Yeah. yeah. How, how it feels from, from being the winner of our Bible <laughs> Connection last Sabbath afternoon? Right, folks? This is our Bible Connection um, winner. Um, uh, she, she came off in flying colors last week. How, how does it feel? How does it feel? Well, it feels great. But... At strange at the same time because people I don't necessarily know me and say, Sister Gibbs, congratulations on oh, in school. Yeah. I'll be passing and say, I'll be what? Mm -hmm. You know me? And mm -hmm. like, they won the competition. Yeah. So, yeah, it was just kind of strange, but I'll get used to it. Very nice, very nice. And, 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 and so on. Um, and in terms of school and so on, because school started for you, yeah? Yes, yes. All right. Um, how how, how old has I, it been? Challenge is gonna have to balance school and still studying for the competition. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. right. Well, we're gonna talk a little bit more about that and hear from you. But thank God it is Friday, yeah. Yes, thank God it's Friday. So. You can relax yes. and, and 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 so on, right? We see. We say good night to Desiree Williams. She's joined. Deborah Bess is joined. Kelly Thomas, mm -hmm. glad to have you um, tonight. Um, Deborah says hello. Um, she says happy Sabbath. We have Nisha Jeremiah says hello. Esther Kanha is always there. Happy Sabbath. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Remember, you got to like the page and you got to share. Eden Noel McLaren says happy Sabbath. Vicky Cato says from St. Vincent, yes. Magda number, number 34. We're going to yes. start with number 34. That's the first request for Vicky Cato in St. Vincent. Vicky, now listen, guys. Listen, guys. We're very serious about that. You know, if you looked at what we had last week, yeah, um, you would realize thousands of people all across this globe is view are, are viewing um youth life adventist youth life on plug now you are part of this ministry so to remember to remember sorry to like the page and to share the page and invite all your friends to join us yeah last week we were at the saint george's sda church in archibald avenue where we had a wonderful program the friday evening we were not right here in the studio but we we were down at saint george's then we had the the, the uh, sabbath and then in the afternoon the bible connection right so we had a wonderful time and all of you who are with us we thank you very much we have Katy peters alexander says happy sabbath glad to have you so as you keep coming remember to like the page and to share and you're going to get an opportunity of course to share later on as we continue on this program but all for now let's begin to sing and make melody with all of our, of our voices hello it's adventist youth live on blog welcome let's sing our first number is 34 hymn number 34 Make this song join joint like this.
right uh, star louis is saying good night pastor thank you telisha roberts is there she's saying good night and happy sabbath right remember you can keep your request tell us your 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 favorite number um tonight right uh, tell us your favorite number um christopher knights from carico hey you always tuned in boy happy sabbath saints of god happy sabbath christopher we're glad to have you knowing pope is on remember folks you gotta like the page and you gotta do what you gotta do what you gotta share the page you want to like a friend yes yeah invite a friend yeah um, Kimberly Philip uh, is there, Zandra Sylvester Fraser uh, is there, you know, come on, come on folks, yes, continue to share, continue to like, and so on, and um, I must tell you that we expect two of our special guests joining us in a while, you know, two other guests joining us for Adventist Youth Live, you know, um, so in a while you're going to see them, right, so tell us your favorite number as we sing tonight, so let's sing tonight number 15, number 15, that's a good one, right, so send in your requests, Send your request as we praise God together on Adventist Youth Live on blog. Across this globe, and you are an integral part of this ministry every Friday night on Adventist Youth Live. Two five one.
melody with our voices, you know. What's our next number? Okay, Car Carrie said. 537, he led me. Oh, I'm five. not too familiar with the song, but I think I know the air. 537. Oh, 537. Yeah. Wow, well, who will help me tonight? Because if you're not <laughs> quite familiar. Hey, I hope you guys are singing. Remember to like the page. He led me, yeah? We're going to we're gonna give it a try, right? We're going to give it a try. It's not one of the hymns that we sing very often. Um, especially on youth live, but come on, I mean, let's give it a try together, right? Can we say we're gonna know something and yeah, we're gonna no. see how, how it goes, all right? Yeah. So forgive us, but you join and sing wherever you are, and remember to do what to like the page and to share, share the page. We see Alicia Joseph is on, we see Sylvia Latouche is on, we're coming your way. Sharon Daniel is also on, you know. Remember to like the page and to share yeah. the page, right? And let us know that you are on tonight as we sing along and as we praise God together. 537.
have some kind of musical nuances, if to so to speak, yes, that sometimes yes. give you a little way to pause and way to, you know, yeah. and, and so on. Oh boy, we need some musician. Let's see, let's see if we could take another one or two. Um, what's the next one? What's the next one? Okay, no, 21 requested that sister Alicia, Alicia Joseph, right. Immortal, Invisible God, Only Wise. All right, you know that one, right? Oh, that's like all that meant to him. Oh, boy, I tell you, so you can only work for me tonight. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, let's go. That might be our last one. We might take just maybe one more after and see. All right, twenty-one. Kishan Francis, Kishan, yeah man, good man. And you have something walking on for us, Kishan, right? Keep it up, keep it up, boy, keep it up, right? Venny Andal says, good night, Pastor, happy Sabbath. Good night, Venny. Um, Jason Charles is there, right? Good night, family says, Dalisha Lambert. Uh, Jerry Harris says, happy Sabbath. All right, we very happy. All right, Dolisha is saying special good Thanks, night Dolisha. to Victorious Carissa. And what Thanks. about me? <laughs> right, Calvin Charles is also there. I think Calvin, Calvin, and Shanna from the West, Victoria side down there, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, Cinti Lakati saying, Chinti Lakati, hey, Chinti, good night, man. First time I've seen, I'm seeing you on, on Adventist Youth Live. I think we went to school together. That this oh, guy, you know, Chinti okay. Lakati, you know. Very, very nice, Chinti. Good to see you, man. Uh, Mick Wills uh, just joined, and we're very happy to have you. Right? So let's do our final number this evening. Final number this evening. Six, six, five, three. 653. Lead them, my God, to Somebody told you that? I know, 
Oh, you knew that. All right, back to school. So it's appropriate. Hey, the back to school fever is in the air. All the way past the day. All traffic. you know, people traffic, people all over shopping and doing the last. And over the weekend, people will be doing the last preparation for back to school. Right? Of course, it's 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 that's what's happening now. So that that hymn that we just sang, the last one, is just appropriate to lead our children, boys and girls, and you know everyone to Jesus Christ, so that He can protect them, He can bless them, and help them to have a wonderful full term or semester as the case might be all right we're going to talk more about that but what we're talking about tonight back to school all right back to school um but before we continue tonight we want to share a few promotions with you a few promotions let you know what is happening in the Grenada Conference of Seven Day Adventists. Every week we update you and we bring you um, those updates so that you can know what is happening. Right? Of course, in terms of the of last last Friday, we celebrated two yeah. years of the existence of Adventist Youth Live, right? our second anniversary. And as I told you before, we are the um, SDA Church Archibald Avenue St. George's and we had a wonderful time the Friday night thank you for supporting thank you for viewing and of course um, the Sabbath morning was a wonderful program and then in the afternoon we had our Bible Connect and in studio with us tonight you know um, is our Bible Connection winner right um, Sister Carissa Gibbs and she comes from the um, SD Church at Moncton. Yeah, yeah, Moncton. I hope somebody in Moncton or all the Moncton people are watching tonight. All right. So we're very happy and we say congratulations to Carissa. And all the finalists, they did well, yes. really, really yes. good. You know, really, really good by the grace of God. All right. Nice. The next one, in terms of gospel meetings, gospel meetings, you know, um, great preaching, great singing, um, um, great special music, great testimonies. I mean, um, press sessions i've been to these sites and i'm telling you grenada those places are on fire by the grace of god people are being delivered people are being blessed by the preaching of the word of god by the testimonies by singing procession quiz gifts i'm telling you so you're wondering where these things are taking place well let me tell you right right down at the plains main road close to the plains flame field once you reach Plains playing field is not far. Right close to place, Plains playing field in St. Patrick's, we have the King is Coming Gospel Explosion with Pastor Chinos Isado. Yeah, let me tell you, this man is on fire. And people, if you see people, I tell you from the whole north, like everybody there, you know, you know, when I got there, you see vehicles and people, you know. So you missing out. Don't miss another night, you know. Don't miss another night. You're watching, you'd like tonight, but tomorrow, God's willing, I think they're under the 10th and Sunday and Friday. You know, you've got to be there. And bring a friend, man. Bring a friend. It's a family affair. And it's really, really good. Especially Sunday night, man. You should go out in your droves as, as you get the blessing as you go back to school, all right? Then, of course, uh, on the western side, in Maran Plainfield, I've been there too. And, and, and Evangelist Red Voss Philip, you know him? My mother knows him. Oh, your mother yeah. knows him? Yeah. Well, tell your mother to watch Youth Life tonight, <laughs> alright? So, Red Voss Philip, he's there. He's there with the victory in Jesus' gospel explosion. I'm telling you, place, the what night it was, was red night, and people came out. A lot of people were so again. And he's preaching the word. You got to be there, right? The Maran Plainfield under the big tent. Then, of course, um, in, in Windsor Forest, Windsor Forest, we have a, a young man, well, you know, preaching the word. He's not a pastor, but he's one of the elders of the, uh, the man, Mount SDA Church, um, Joel Sharp, yeah? He's in the Windsor Forest, inside Windsor Forest there. You get off the moon and you go inside there. He's under that tent there, preaching the word of God. So you in that area, or you, you're looking for a place to go for good gospel preaching and singing and prayers and so on, you got to be there inside of Windsor Forest, right? And then coming up, coming up, one one of the, the, the persons you see on Youth Live very often and one of the coordinators and man driving this thing, our assistant youth um, director, he's going to be starting an evangelistic campaign in the Union playing field on Sunday, God's willing. Sunday coming, Sunday coming, that's the date, Sunday coming, that's the 2nd of September out there in the Union playing field and he's going to be on fire, you got to be there. Well, you see him on Youth Live and you see him elsewhere, you know, and I think there's a 
poster being, being displayed on the screen there so that I can see him, you know, with folded arms and things, you know. But I'm telling you, he looks cool there. But under the tent, I mean, I'm telling you, he's a firebrand for the Lord, right? Uplifting gospel music, he says, dynamic gospel messages, life changing prayer, like that. Hell, tips and features, all these and more, right? With, 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 with Pastor um, Jamie Gordon. And the theme is ready and waiting, Jesus is coming. I love that. Yeah. Ready and waiting, Jesus is coming, right? You got to be there, you got to be there, right? So these are some of the things that are happening. And then we move to Pathfinder Day coming up, or Pathfinders Show, the Grenada Conference of Seventh day Adventists. They are getting up, they are practicing, they are drilling, they are doing their thing because Pathfinder Day is coming up on Sabbath. Uh, 15th of September, all right? That's just about two weeks away. And then, then, back to school. Back to school. That's what we're talking about tonight. So we want to take the opportunity to, um, you know, wish all of you, our children, or going back um, to back to school. Um, some of you are going back on Monday. Others are going back on Tuesday, um, depending on which school you are attending and what the circumstances surrounding um, your situation. But whatever way, we understand that the majority or most of the schools will be um, open on, on Monday. All right. So we wish you God's blessing and God's speed. Um, at the end of the program, we're going to have a special prayer for you. And we hope that God will continue to guide you as you go for yet another year, school year, yet another term. And he open your mind and bless you. All right. Good, good, good. So that's what we have tonight. And we're going to come back in a while. Let's take a break and have a special item of music. And then we're going to be right back with you. Stay right there and enjoy that special item of music.
Thank you very much and welcome back. That was a wonderful item of special music by your sister Sarana Philip, a uh, family of God. And suddenly it's a family affair, yes? I'm back to school. Um, the whole family is involved in this thing, you know? Mother, father, children, everybody, brother, sister, you know? And it's a family affair, yeah? But we belong to the family of God. Well, as I told you, we had some other guests um, who are just waiting to join us and we are very happy to have them. Um, it's a husband and wife combination. It's a family affair, you know? <laughs> family affair. And so we have um, Angel Joseph. Angel, welcome. Um, Thank you very you know, much. look into the camera and, and, and greet and say hi. Nice to be here. Right. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Right, very nice. Yeah. Um, Angel, what you do? What 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 you do? Um, um a teacher. Oh, you are a teacher. Yes, I'm a teacher at the Apple Secondary, and I teach English A and literature. Oh, okay. First time on your life? No. It's oh, my not the second time. Second time. It's been like so long. Time. Oh, yes, right, yes. right, right. And 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 to my left is a. Her husband, you can say husband and wife, you know. Her husband, um, um, Kelvis Joseph, yeah. yeah. Um, Kelvis, first time on the program? No, we came together oh, okay. some time ago. So. Right, right yeah. nice, very nice. What, what you do, Kelvis? Well, I'm also a teacher like my wife, you know, mm -hmm. but at the Queen Boys Secondary School, mm -hmm. and I teach um, physics and mathematics. Oh, so yeah. you're only science, you're yeah. a um, mathematician, <laughs> scientist. Well, right? um, I try my best. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we want to say hello to Ulrich Henry. He says hello, um, very nice. We see Shari Modest, she says, Happy Sabbath, God bless you. Um, Samuel Bonaparte is also there. Oh, Gamir Malcolm joined. Gamir, Gamir, you are a key fella down in that, in that yeah. southeastern district there. Um, you gotta, you gotta um, like the page and share the page. And if it even means pulling out your phone and call somebody and say, Hey, Youth Live is on, you know? Like the page, share the page, so that you'll join us in this ministry, right? Gamir sir, says, Happy Sabbath, uh, blessings, folks. Yeah. Um, Lynn Fleming is there, Happy Sabbath. Um, Tonya Mitchell says hello. Colin Andrew joined. Laurel James says hello. Wow, they're coming in. Wendy Clark, boys, happy Sabbath from New York. Oh, New York is in the house. Come yes. on, all you. All you <laughs> New York is here. Right? Jamie S. Gordon says happy Sabbath, Pastor and Carissa the champion. <laughs> oh, Pastor Gordon. That's yes. Pastor Gordon. Right, right. Venus Brumble says hello. You know? Um, Junior Sincere says hello. Venus Bromble says happy Sabbath, Pastor, and my Mission Life family. God bless you. I'm glad you know it's a family thing, boy. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Alicia Joseph um, says Pastor Gordon. Right? Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Um, Dale Charles says happy Sabbath, all. Right? Very nice. They keep coming. Right? Nice. Okay, folks, he squeeze. He squeeze that. Oh, folks, we had Bible connection. I want to give all you a little something tonight. All you had one? No, yeah, no, well, no, well take this, take this for appearing on youth life, you know, take this, you had already here yeah, and a bag yeah. full of gifts, so I'm not giving you anything tonight. <laughs> Alright, let's go to our quiz, our quiz time, get your Bible and let's run them through quickly, quickly, quickly. We're talking about families in the Bible, families in the Bible, yeah, because back to school is a family affair. And if you notice the special music, the last hymn we sung and, and so on, it's a youth life family I think, thing, so we're talking about families in the Bible. So start now the first question. Well, a very simple one, you know, um... Listen carefully. I am Timothy. Who are my mother and grandmother? All right. I am Timothy. Who are my mother and grandmother? All right. Good. Come on. So let's see all the Bible tooting students out there. You know, you know your Bible well. Yeah. You have that in your head. Just shoot the answer for us. Tell us quickly, 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 quickly. Mm -hmm. You thought it was simple. It seems like a hard one. You, you think so? <laughs> Nobody's answering. What, boy? Three seconds and I give a little clue. Okay, you know? okay, okay. You want to give a little clue? Somebody got it there? No, not yet, not yet. What, boy? Watch <laughs> comments. <laughs> well, let's recognize some of our online viewers. Charlene um, Dozeri says, watching from St. Lucia. St. Lucia in the house. Come yeah. on. Happy Sabbath. Hey, you are key link in St. Lucia there for me. You got to like the page, right? Sure take, take, take a little, just, just a few seconds and like the page and share the page so that friends. the whole of St. Lucia will be on good mm -hmm. live, yeah? Kimberly. Well, we have an answer, I think, Paris. Uh huh. Lois. Uh huh. That's to the mother, grandmother. All right. And then Karen Batty says, Eunice, all right, so we get part of the answer from Karen. Kimberly said both. All right, so that is why. So Lois is the mother and Eunice the grandmother. All right. all right, good. So good start, good start. All right. Star Lewis is coming in there with Lois and so on. All right, okay. good start. Your turn. Question number two. My father was the father of many nations. My mother's name was Katura. Who am I? 
Mm. My father was the father of many nations. My mother's name was Katura. Who am I? By the way, I could answer it. Eh? No. Why not? <laughs> Every time I attempt to answer, they're telling me uh -huh. no. All right, so let's see. Let's see who got that one there. It's Come. quite easy. It's quite easy, you think? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if you say so. So let's see. You have Katura. Yeah? Once you hear that name, you should be heading to a particular book and see. Right? Nisa Let. Good night, Nisa. Glad to have you. You're coming with the answer there to the first question, yeah? Kimoy Jamie Charles. But we have a second question um, on, the, on the screen. I think you should be seeing the questions on the screen also, all right? All right, so who is it? Um, nobody yet, so come. Who? Ask, ask the clue would be uh -huh. Genesis 25, verses 2 and 3. All right. Genesis 25, verses 2 and 3. Okay, okay. You want to ask the question again so that okay. they know what somebody said Abraham did? No. <laughs> right. My father was the father of many nations. Uh -huh. My mother's name was Katura. Who am I? All right. And the clue is Genesis, Genesis 25, verses 22, verses 2 and 3. All right. Ishmael, uh, no. Ishmael Philip says that's not the answer we're looking for. No. We, look, we have the right one. Isaac, no. All right. Music no. no. cool. Music <laughs> cool. Hi, Randall Wilson. Good night. Good attempt, but give us something. Kim Dikoto joined, you know, she's there, she's there. Yes. One of our coordinators, she's there somewhere, you know. Come on, use the clue, use your clue, use your clue. So we keep it going. We're looking for the correct answer, right? Looking for the correct answer. Who is coming with it? Who is coming with it? Keep it coming. It's starting J. Oh, you're giving them a clue? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, you're giving them a clue. Wow. No. Some Calvin Charles. Zimran. Calvin says no. Zimran. No. Calvin, good attempt, but you're coming. What, that one's so hard, boy? Girls, no, man. No. Mm. That's in J. Alright. Mm -hmm. Girls, Peters. Mm -hmm. Uh, good attempt. <laughs> I like that one. Nice one. <laughs> Sylvia Latouche says, Abraham Song. She's correct. Yes, Stalin. Yes, Joshua. Stalin. Yes, 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 Stalin. But I like that one, you know. And when you don't know, just say, it's from Abraham Song. Yeah. All right, Angel, it's your turn. So, question number three. We are obedient sons and the first known sailors. Mm -hmm. We are obedient sons and the first known sailors. Okay. Let's go. We're looking we get... for three names. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Three names. Three names. We are obedient sons and the first known sailors. Hmm. One, two names come to mind. Let me see if I get a third one. Bam, bam, bam. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Now, if all you're taking too long, I answer the question, you know. I want to answer a question. I must get something right tonight. All right, keep it. Remember to like the page and to share the page. Invite your friends to view. Yeah? All right, so we give, them a, give them a clue, Angel. See, right. give them a so clue there. You can find the answer in Genesis chapter 7 and verse 13. All right, who first gets there? Let's see. All right. We are obedient sons. I'm looking for three names. Mm -hmm. Mm. Right. Who's ah. that? Who is that? Who is that? Rondell. Rondell Wilson. Yes. What's the answer? Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Right. That's right. That's very right. nice. Very nice. Back to you. Back to you. Back to you. All right. Well, I'm number four. A father who me, I was speechless. <laughs> A father who me, I was speechless. Mm -hmm. Who am I? Mm. But I thought these things were easy, boy, but they look It's not like Michael it. Jackson, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not Michael Jackson right. at all. Nisa says, shame. She could only type one answer for that <laughs> one. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> all right, Dan, right. Dan Noel is there. It's a shame, Hamel <laughs> <laughs> I guess they type so fast, you yes. know? Yeah, but we, we get it. You guys are right there. Wow, wow. Zach, Karen Batiste. Zacharias. Uh, Would you accept that? Um, <laughs> oh, close, close, very close. You're too close, you know, so... Karen Batiste, you just have to tweet one something or a little something. Yeah. yeah. The ending, the ending. <laughs> and, you, and you almost, but I think is that what you want to put, you know? Yes. Yeah, I don't believe so too. Oh. And the, the same, same answer as Zacharias, not Zacharias. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Change the last syllable. Alright. Uh-huh. Alright, and you get it. So, let me let, 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 yeah, good, yeah, you know? Yeah. What do you say, Josie? Of course, of course. <laughs> Alright. Zachariah. Alright. <laughs> 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 Who is that? 
Sylvia Latouche says, John Baptist's dad. My dad said that. I like this Latouche for C. I like you. I like you. You're really interesting. You're making good attempts. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's go on. Number five. What goes around comes around. I tricked my brother and my uncle tricked me. Who am I? Read it again. Read what it goes like around comes around. I tricked my brother and my uncle tricked me. Who am I? Mm, all right. That's an easy one. Yeah, very, close very, your Bible and yes. close your eye. All right. Alicia Joseph answers are coming in more. Keisha Joseph just joined. We're very happy. We welcome you. Karen yes. Baptist. All Correct. right. Jacob. Right, so Karen Batiste is right on target there. Daniel, you too. Daniel Philip is yeah. there. Hi, Daniel. How you do, Daniel? It's good to hear you. Happy Sabbath, Daniel. And yeah. welcome to Adventist Youth Live. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And some answers are coming. All who say Jacob, 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 look yeah. at them. All yes. them now they coming. Calvin, you get one tonight, boy. You get one, you get one. <laughs> Although you put Jacob. I know you're typing fast. But that's all. You're fixing it. All right, good, Calvin, good. Nisa is there with one. Marcella, Marcella Betel. Um, that's a new person, she said, right? Good, good attempt, but you know, right, nice. Next one, Angel, right, your turn. Number six, I became king of Israel. My father was an agronomist. What was my grandfather's name? Mm. I became king of Israel. My father was an agronomist. What was my grandfather's name? What, boy? That one is a little difficult. I ain't attempting that one. But in the meantime, while you think about it, we may have to give you a clue. But while you think about it, give them a, give them a clue. Give them a clue. Alright, so clue. you can find the answer in Ruth chapter 4 and verse 17. Right, run there quickly. 4 17. In the meantime, we see Kerry Batiste says, Good night, brother and sister Joseph. Uh, Happy Sabbath. Good night, good night, good night. Join, just joining <laughs> in from so New York. York. Can All right, you imagine so the last Sabbath I spent in Utah? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Somebody know all you from New York, boy. All you from New York, people know all you busy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> boy, you come back already. Very nice, very nice. You are in New York, you see? Well, don't worry, don't worry. Your tongue go pound, you know? Uh, right, very nice. It's very happy. Very good. Hey, and you are key link in New York there. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want you to do is like the page and to share the page and let all in New York and all in the States, you know, join you. Like, it's a ministry that you are part of, Kerry. Very, very, very nice. We welcome you. Who has the answer? Nobody. And, and you gave a clue? Yes, remember the clue? Ruth 417. Mm -hmm. Ruth 417. Mm, Ruth 417. I became king of Israel. Uh -huh. My father was an agronomist. Yes, Rondell Obed. That's Rondel. the name. Right. That's the correct one. Rondell Lukisha is yes. coming in with the answer there, right? Yeah, very fast. Mm -hmm. Daniel Philip is coming in with the answer. Calvin Charles and many, many others coming. Star uh -huh. Lewis. All of all you say you bet all you. Correct, correct, mm -hmm. correct, correct. Take the next one, man. Right, so quickly, number seven. Girl, girls everywhere. <laughs> Though wise, I had blank wives of royal blood and blank concubines. I am. Mm -hmm. I read it again. Girl, girls everywhere. Though wise, I had blank wives of royal blood. And blank concubines. Mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. So they need three answers. Three answers you're looking for? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just right, right, right. Girls, girls everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is yeah. that? What I'm doing mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Though Do wise, I had so many wives. Mm -hmm. Oh, of royal blood and so many concubines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I am. Right. So, so we're looking for. Okay, so we have, we have Star Lewis and, and Calvin Charles. They said kids are. Alright, so you're giving us part of the answer. Yeah. You, okay. you could work with that, you could work with. So Daniel gave 700. Mm -hmm. so Wives are concubines. <laughs> Which one? So, <laughs> Wives are concubines. Which one, Daniel? Alright. So we see the answers in pieces. Eh? And 300, but well, I guess Daniel is saying 300 concubines. That yes. Right. So Daniel says 700 wives, wives 300. Concubines, oh, right? She says CO, right? Oh, yeah. nice, right. Got you. nice, nice. Solomon. And then, Ooh, and then. And the answer is Solomon. And the answer is Solomon. So Very that's nice. Got the brilliant, name brilliant. Correct. Excellent. <laughs> Marcelia Bettel. We, uh, that Bettel song like from Kariku, you know. But, um, you know, we got. Keep on, Korean. Hey, keep on, how you doing, man? Happy Sabbath. You are on Youth Life, man. Like the page and share Solomon the page. Dapa. Yeah. I thought I said Solomon Nidapa. <laughs> 
what is that? And the wives and the concubines, some have it mixed up, some have concubine sauce, some yeah. are right, 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 good, 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 all you, right, nice, good, 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 right, we have how many, two more, three more, right, let's go. I am Peter, my wife's name is never mentioned, hmm. what is the proof of my marriage? Hmm. I am Peter, my wife's name is never mentioned, what is the proof of my marriage? Oh, hmm. Well, that's one, that's one, that's one. Let's hear, let's hear. Who is going to get it? We may have to give a clue, but hold on. So. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me, read, let me read for my... I am Peter. My wife's name is never, never mentioned. mentioned. What is my proof of marriage or marriage certificate? No. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Who is coming? All right, give us a clue, give us a clue. Okay. <laughs> it can be found in Luke chapter 4, verses 38 and 39. Mm. Luke 4, 38 and 39. Mm -hmm. We'll get there first. We'll get there first, first, first. Run to Luke 4, you said? Alright. Um, Daniel, <laughs> Daniel says, when Jesus healed his mother, the proof of mother-in-law. Mother Alright. Alright, what, what Calvin says? When Jesus healed his mother-in-law. Oh, yes. alright. Alright, alright. Alright, but I know we'll see Daniel had something she was coming here I think course, yeah. typing fast to get it fast yeah. right mm -hmm. um, Nadia Charles is there Nadia we welcome you eh Jesus healed his mother-in-law Sharon Daniel hey sister Daniel take a shot at <laughs> one boy yes sister Daniel I know that you know I know you would get one right you know um Chanel London Taylor says his mother-in-law right very nice very nice mm -hmm. Sylvia Latouche let me hear what she says his mother-in-law was healed of a fever yes. all right good um here's a scotland I wonder if you're from Scot yeah, she, all right. maybe she has a delayed broadcast yeah. all right but here's a scotland good to know that you're here that's if at first time i'm seeing that name you know wherever you are from you know i wonder if he's from scotland boy all right <laughs> but you are there right we have welcome you all right we have two more let's get them off all right, all right. We had each other's back. We were praised by Paul for going beyond the call of duty. Who are we mm -hmm. and what did we do? So this question has two parts, right? Mm -hmm. We had each other's back. Mm -hmm. We were praised by Paul for going beyond the call of duty. Mm -hmm. Who are we? So we're looking for two names and what did we do? Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. We're looking for two names. Who yes. are we? And, and what, what did we do? Yeah. All right, all right. Okay, so who's who's giving us here? Who is giving us? Remember to like the page and to share. You know, it's Adventist Youth Live, all right? Um, Marcella Bettel is still answering the previous yeah, question. Will you get Johnson. it right? Yeah. Joel Johnson says good night and happy Sabbath to brother and sister Joseph. Well, thank yeah. you, well. yeah, Joel. Joel, good night. So Joel, you can't tell me good night too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Joel, my good friend down there, but yeah, custom seeing me, so yeah, 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 glad to see all you, you know. Yes, right. right, Daniel says Timothy. Mm. Alright. Ron there is saying Aquila oh, and Priscilla, Priscilla. Good. So that's the, that's the person's name. Okay, very yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm That's it. So what did they do? Mm-hmm. What did they do? Uh-huh. Alright, what did they do? What you did want? Aquila and Priscilla do? And where can we find that angel? Where well, can we find that? Romans chapter 16. All right, Romans, Romans 16. Romans 16. Right. What did they do? I, I see Dan, Dan Noel says Barnabas <laughs> and John Mark. That's not the answer. So Rondell and Sylvia has it, Aquila and Priscilla. Yeah, yeah, they have, they have it, they have it. Very nice, very nice. All right, Karen Batty says tent makers. I like all you, you know, nice, nice. All right, what did they do? What did they do? What did they do to make Paul praise them? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. He said that they went beyond the call of duty. So uh -huh. what did they do that made um, Paul praise them? Right. That that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily a profession as such. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Angel, tell tell us, tell us what what what's the <laughs> what's the second uh, part? Well, they risk their lives for him. Right. They, they risk their lives for him. For him. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Last one, last one. Who got the last one? Last one is yours, boy. Yeah, last but by no means least, as we say, yeah. I was a Jew, but my husband, the governor, was not. Mm -hmm. My name is. Hmm. I, I was a Jew, but my husband, the governor, was not. Mm -hmm. My name is. Daniel had the answer. Yeah. Daniel Philip oh. just saying, laid down their life right, for Paul. Yeah. That's, that's for the first one, the, yeah. previous, the previous question, all right? 
So the new one is, I was a Jew, but my husband, the governor, was not. My name is, anybody could help us there? Help us with this one. Last question, who will get it? Give them a clue, give them a clue, give them a clue. They need clues. Acts 24, 24. <laughs> Not Someone Esther. says Esther, not Esther, not Esther, not right, Esther. You can find the answer in Acts 24, verse 24. Uh huh. Go quickly, Acts 24, 24. We've got a lot of people saying Esther, boy. <laughs> yeah, I think that, that, that kind of rings a bell and connects with something. Mm -hmm. So the first instinct is to, you know? Alright? Um, right, so mm -hmm. right, someone says Claudia, you know, I'm seeing, boy, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm seeing some names tonight. <laughs> And some answers, Carissa, you know, yes. you know? Ruth, Ruth. Mm -hmm. wow, hey, Alma, Ariel, Patrick, we right, very happy to have you. Right, um, Calvin, Calvin Charles has it. Yeah. 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 Calvin, and then we have um, Star, um, Kimberly. Kimberly. Mm -hmm. Kimberly, Philip, they just come in through, they just come in through, you know. Right. So folks, we can really have fun studying the Bible and, you know, and we let, looked at family in the Bible, yeah? Families in the Bible, right? We're very happy that you can be with us. Remember, it's Adventist Youth Live. All right, well, let's go to our, um, the main gist of the program tonight. And we're looking for your comments, and we invite you to um, stay with us. Tonight, the summer vacation has ended, and it's flown by so quickly. <laughs> It seemed that a few days ago, students were looking forward to school being closed, yeah? Now parents and guardians, uh, they are scampering to get their children um, ready for back to school. Well, you see them on the streets um, during this week, especially today, and I guess, you know, for the next few days. Books have been bought, mm -hmm. covered and placed into new bags. And it brought me to the time, you know, you look forward to your new bag and your new shoe, you know, yeah. and your books covered and so on. Uniforms are being prepared and plans are being made and implemented. However, as we prepare, we pause to ask, what will this school year bring? What will the, our children learn? Mm -hmm. What will the year reveal? How do we make the most of going back to school? These are some of the questions we'll be asking and answering tonight. And maybe these are some of the questions you are um, asking or you are going to be answering with us tonight. Yeah? Star says, well done. Yeah, good star. Right? Very nice. Um, so Sister Telisha just joined. We're very happy to have you um, tonight. All right? So, folks, this is what we're talking about um, tonight. Um, let me ask the focus group um, tonight. The focus group, there are several characteristic traits um, that um, are necessary to be successful in life and to be well around the people. Um, and children, um, they go back to school, some to primary, some to pre-primary, some to secondary, some to colleges and, and the likes, yeah? universities and so on. But there are some traits, you want to start with that. Some traits, and you too can join and share some of the traits that can help our students and children to be successful, yeah? Um, Carissa, you are a student. Yes. Very nice to have you. And where, where do you attend school? St. George's University. Oh, St. George's Boston. University. Boston. You're doing biology. Um, biology? Yes. Right, so you're going to be a biologist. <laughs> All right, right, very nice, very nice. And then we have two teachers, yeah? Um, two teachers teaching different subject areas at different institutions. So they're going to weigh in and tell us. Now, what are some of these tricks in your... Um, thinking your opinion, you're looking at things. What are some of the traits that you think students should possess, possess um, to be successful, even as they look forward to going out um, into the new school year, the new school term? Some students are going out for the first time. Yeah. The small ones, others are moving from one level to one, you know, from primary to secondary, some from secondary to tertiary, yeah. you know, some from tertiary to, you know, university and so on and so on, so right? From form one to form two. Right, so a lot of transition yeah. taking place, you know. They must possess, we want to start with that, they must possess some, you know, little skills and mm -hmm. things. What, what are some of those things, you know? Kelvin, you yeah, Kelvin, you want to start? Yeah, well, but before I proceed, you know, let uh -huh. me just take a time to um, congratulate all those who have been successful, right? One or the other in some examination, right, um, they would have undertaken. Mm -hmm. Whether it's from transitioning from the primary school to secondary school to CPA, mm -hmm. or even at a different, you know, form level, right? Mm -hmm. 
and also in terms of um the CISEC exam, the um the KIP or yeah. even at um a certain degree level. But um, you know, you all have done well, mm -hmm. and those who probably didn't do so well, yeah. you know, um, I wouldn't say better luck next time, but use that as a, a motivation, right? Right. To put your best foot forward for the upcoming year so that you can you know excel as you proceed right before you go before you go any further you always yeah. have to be because i want to interact with my online viewers i'm kisha joseph i'm risa latouche yeah. and they say three others just join mm -hmm. i like that i like that they're watching in groups you know yeah. <laughs> that's good that's good yeah, um sure. alicia joseph says she's answering the question some of the things that she thinks students should yeah, discipline definitely. right um thank you very much for that there um star louis said determination to learn mm -hmm. determination to learn we like our online viewers as he called kimron korean um, he's somewhere out in one of them countries, boy. Mm. But you're originally from paradise, you know. I think he's in the States, you know. But oh. came on, glad to have you on Adventist Youth Life. He says, ambition. We're going to see if our panelists will mm. share those with us. But discipline, determination to learn, ambition. These are some of what our online viewers are saying. Lena Gilbert. Hey, hi, yeah. Lena. <laughs> <laughs> Lena, that's from, she's from Saab. She attends the Maribor SDA Church. Yeah. She says, happy Sabbath, everyone, and good night. Right? Salomon Sosa, they should force, they should also put God first. Yeah, that's, a talk. Of mine, you know. that's a co worker of yours. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, what nice Sosa. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Yeah, keep it coming, keep it coming. Yeah, you were saying. Right, so um, one of the um, the traits I think we should possess is that of um, resilience. Right? Resilience. Yeah, being able to bounce back because um, sometimes the experience they are exposed to can be hostile and um, not every time you might you would succeed, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Take for example an exam, you probably might want to get a hundred percent, but you fell short. Mm -hmm. You know, two things can happen. One, you probably bury your head in the sand. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Or use that as a stepping stone, you know, to go forward, right? Uh -huh. To motivate yourself, you know, so you can do better next time. So this is key mm -hmm. because we will have different experiences, right? Right. And then we use that you now, you know, to um lift ourselves, you know, to proceed um from one stage to the next. Okay, just, just a minute. I know you have a lot to say, but the, the comments are coming. Yeah. Um, Kimron here. Kimron says, Kimron Korean, he's out in Canada. Yeah, right. Very nice. Sharon Daniel says, what character building skills are parents putting in their children's mm -hmm. backpack <laughs> and lunch boxes? <laughs> wow. Oh, you, you got you to gotta unpack that. And maybe we're going to talk to that. Too. The, yeah, some yeah. things in the backpack and so on she's referring to here. Yeah? Rondell yeah. Philip. Ronel, Ronel, yeah, oh, yeah, Ronel. He says, Happy Sabbath, family of God. Thank you very much. Yeah. Alison Harris says, Happy Sabbath. Um, Denver hosting um, says, Hello, Miss Alexander. Hi, Denver. Oh, she, no, I tell you, boy, I tell you. Some student, you know, they're making yeah. connection, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right. Look, Lena saying, Hi, brother and sister Josie. Hey, sister. Oh, what do you want to tell you? They haven't seen us for a while. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I, I see, I see. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, man. Big up your people, man. You know, it's Adventist Youth Live, and that's yeah. how we do it every yeah. Friday evening, yeah? Right? Um, um, look. Yeah. Sylvia, Sylvia, that yes. you said, respect for all hmm. and include Jesus in everything. Wow, very yeah. nice. So these are some of the traits, right? Right? But but yeah, so you 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 were yeah. saying that uh -huh. but probably um <coughs> we can say a lot of things, but um speaking from a religious perspective, right? Mm -hmm. Above all is being God fearing. Yeah. Right? That mm -hmm. is second to none because um you see we are individuals, right? Mm -hmm. And when we are God fearing then we treat our fellow men, you know, as valuable okay. as um or just is saying being respectful right to all mm -hmm. and that should be first and foremost you know on our gender because um with that all other things fall in place because okay. if we are not god fearing mm -hmm. then all the other criteria all the other traits you know would break down somewhere or the other so um it's sad that sometimes we come to you know our schools and those things and god is still not mentioned on those things right mm -hmm. because God set the pace for ethics and morals. Everything. And if you remove God from the picture, mm -hmm. then you just have just education. Right. So right. so I'm, I'm hearing you saying to young people and mm -hmm. students like tonight, because we're talking to students, we're talking to young people, and even to parents, eh? Yeah. A lot of parents are listening to help. I'm, I'm hearing you emphasizing that point. And I think of a few of our online viewers made mention of that that god must be first yeah exactly. that come up that's yeah. one of the traits we must put god first let, let, let's hear from let's hear from 
Can we say, come, share one with us? What, what do you think? You as a student. Curiosity. Curiosity. Like, yes. you catch, you know? <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Tell us what you mean by curiosity. Mm. Uh, for me as a student, I'm curious. I don't know why some things work, what, what happens when this mm. occurs. So for me, I would, mm. I would do extra reading, ask oh. questions, exert more influence, um, mm. energy mm. In, in my school. Can be a motivator. Yes. Oh, um, very nice, very nice. Yeah. Curious. So the student you say to young people they must be curious. Yes. Want to learn. Yeah. Yes. Want. Oh, yeah. very nice. Yeah. Very Think nice. outside of the box, you know. Yeah. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Let's hear what Melin Charles has to say. Angel, read for us what Melin Charles has to say. Happy Sabbath, youth life families. Happy Sabbath. Powerful prayer Wednesday night, Pastor Hille. Oh, May thank God you. keep our children in His loving care as they return to school. God bless you all. Yeah, she was referring to one of the campaigns. I think oh. it's place where we pray for the oh. young people and the children, oh, right? Okay. Thank you very much. And we see Kishana Charles mm -hmm. says, Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, Kishana. Good to have you on Youth Live tonight. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we're talking about the treats. We want to talk about the roll yeah. them quickly and then we move on, yeah? Right. We have something nice coming up for you. Hey, you got to stay a little piece of street talk. You know, the street talk, you know, add yeah, some yeah, yeah. spice to the Youth Life thing. So, Stay tuned and keep your comments coming. Yes, it right. So I think that they should have um, some sort of ethics, values, and right, so on, right? right. And uh, um, parents should <coughs> try to cultivate good values mm -hmm. in their children. So values such as being trustworthy, oh. they should be respectful, mm -hmm. they should... Um, hmm. Stick a, stick a pin there. Yeah. Um, we just recognized Mary Williams just um, joined. Um, Shoma Brafit, um, what she says, she says, It's my yeah. first time with you vibes. Happy nice Sabbath and may God bless oh, you all. Thank yeah. you. I just needed to recognize, you know, come on, come on. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, girl. Where were you all yeah. the time? But we're glad to have you. Do one thing for me tonight, and everybody, hey, I'll give you. Two seconds, is that uh, all you need? Yeah, yeah. But just to like and share, a second to like and a second to share, you know? But the point is like and share because people are joining and it's a ministry that go and you are part, yeah? Tyro Noel says happy Sabbath to all being committed to the task, yeah? Thank you very much, man. It's a lot of work, but we committed by the grace of God, right? Mm -hmm. Right, very nice, very nice. So, so yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And that's something that parents have to instill. Eh? Yes. So the parents have to be good role models, show mm -hmm. the children these things, mm -hmm. and teach them from the Bible. Yeah. So you teach them the story of um, Joseph mm -hmm. being obedient, Daniel and mm -hmm. the three Hebrew boys. You know, you teach them these mm -hmm. stories in the Bible mm -hmm. and show them how these persons were able to stand out and how God mm -hmm. came through for them because yeah. of their ways, right? Yeah. So, teach the children these things. Parents is very important and teachers mm -hmm. because students look up to you. So, mm -hmm. it's very important mm -hmm. that we teach the children good 
values, morals, and values. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Ryan Quinlan just joined. You say, I'm here. Right? Yeah. Right, 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 right down in St. Paul's down there. Very right. nice. Very nice to have you. Okay. Remember to like the page and to share the page. Kaisa, you know, we want to hear, you know, ask you, what, what else you think? You know, as you were talking, I was, I was thinking, boy, when I was in school, eh? Mm -hmm. When I was in school, and um, the children used to give trouble, and you talk about a lot of things about being honest, mm -hmm. being not, you don't have to be a bully, and you have to be, you know, and so on. Um, the teachers and them just used to, you know, just bother with them much, you understand? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, I mean, they don't want trouble, that kind of thing, they just, you know, mm -hmm. and so on. And those who have these, you know, so it's good, it's, it's a good trait, good, good trait to possess, you know? Definitely. I was just thinking, Carissa, what about you, another one? Social skills, well, mainly as a young person. Well, you seem to have big tough skills. We are, as human beings, we are social beings, but young people like to socialize more mm -hmm. so when you're going to school if you use that skills to benefit you to take back an extracurricular activity mm -hmm. that will make you fun closer bond with friends it will help right. you with school work you form study groups things like that uh -huh. so it's not always our school but be social as well but put a balance mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and then it should succeed right. yeah but pass um one of the things we have been one of the trends <coughs> we have been seeing developing you know in recent time and um it's taken the place by leaps and bounds is that of um, isolation, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, in some ways replacing with social media, mm -hmm. which is good and have its place, you know, like nice like this, but um, everybody in some ways, you know, attached to some gadget, mm -hmm. right? So we go outside probably to quote unquote have fun, mm -hmm. but we see to um, probably WhatsApp each other, I mean, you know, we're yeah. close by. Yeah. I think that is taken away from the personal interaction, mm -hmm. right? And you were talking about in terms of you know, the social skills or your sister there. You go to the bank, you let's suppose a bank teller and you have a customer. Mm -hmm. You know, if we divert only or reserve only to that of you know the gadgets, mm -hmm. then when we have the one on one interaction, you know, we'll have some challenges there. Mm -hmm. Right? So like you rightly said, you know, we need to have, you know, strike a balance. Mm -hmm. Right? So that one especially social media doesn't overpower, you know, that of you know the um face-to-face -face interaction right right stick up in let's <clears throat> recognize a few more we have lynn fleming says good teaching miss joseph <laughs> right very nice <laughs> Afiliela english modest she just joined we welcome you remember to like the page and to do what share. to share the page you gotta like that's our buzzword around here on adventist youth live yeah um um yvette lindsay says hello happy sabbath family i'm watching from new york yeah we have a lot of New Yorkers out there, yeah? <laughs> Hello, welcome. Mm -hmm. What 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 Ronel Phillips says, um, um Angel, read for us. First, <coughs> make God our best friend. Nice. And right. he will build our characters by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And he shall grant us the best life. So the right. best life, success and everything. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. Folks, let's let's we come back. We come back and you can keep sharing some of the mm -hmm. virtues, some of the skills, some of the uh, attributes that you think these young people must have or should have as they prepare to go out to school so that they can they can succeed what we're saying tonight is that um they can succeed all of your children all of your young people mm -hmm. all of you who are preparing to go out to school we are saying to you tonight that you can succeed by the grace of god yeah uh -huh. and we are sharing these um tips with you so that by the grace of god as you go out there you can do your best and god will help you to do your best so that you can be successful because he wants you to be successful now well let, let, let's take a little break let's shift a little mm -hmm. and, and take a little break for a minute or so um, and see what parent what a parent has to say response to a few questions as our roving camera just took to the street not far we we're able to get one parent on the camera live to hear what she her thoughts and her feelings about back to school and, and students going back to school let's take a look and we'll come be right back are you looking forward to your child returning to school? Of course I am. I'm very excited. What will you term a successful school year for your child? Well, basically achieving certain stuff that she didn't know. Well, basically she's new. It's her first term. Yeah, so achieving certain stuff like writing. Well, she knows how to spell her name, so that wouldn't be strange, but writing and other stuff, so yeah. What preparations have you made to ensure she has a successful school year? Basically, I have taught her how to spell her name, her parents' name, her father's name, and come from 1 to 10, so she knows that. What do you want your child to become at the end of this school year, of, of their schooling? 
Well, she has to top the class. <laughs> that's my, my, that's my take. I want her to top the class. And after finishing school, what would you like, to, like her to become? Uh, basic, well, anything her choice. But for me, I would like her to be her, a doctor. A doctor? Yeah. What made you choose the school to which you're sending your child? Because it is not really popular, it is private and the teaching is very different to the public school. Yeah, they teach more. You get more. Actually, your money's worth than the public school. Yeah. So I prefer the private school than the public school. They, they give you your money's worth. Because they teach more than the public school. Why do you think? Really? You think that? Yeah, for me, I think so because when she just started like daycare she could come and say well she could come from one to five and she didn't go into school right so i think going to a private school she would do much better, better. yeah <laughs> yes thank you very much that was one of our parents there yeah. um you know who was brave enough to look into the camera and share a few views with us you know and um, we hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you very much, very much for sharing. That's how we do it every now and again. We go to the streets and get what some of the persons on the street um, are saying, you know. But I want to I want to talk to our panelists this evening and reflecting on what um, the parents said. Um, you none of you here are parents yet, yeah, no, no, except no. me. Yeah, I can boast <laughs> about that. Yeah? By the way, I have one little girl and she's getting ready. She's excited, you know. She's excited about going back to school and so on. And some of the things that you have shared, we have been sharing with her with um, those with her in our own you know unique way um at her age level and so on by the grace of god so i think you are well on target in terms of sharing with our parents and sharing with our young people right but we we just saw from a parent let's talk a little bit to parents yeah let's talk a bit uh, um one of the questions i want to ask um you know um carissa i want to ask you this question what would you say is a successful school year you know, as a student going back, what would you say is a success? What would you deem more? I wouldn't you? say good grades because <coughs> good grades are a byproduct of learning. So to learn, not to crown, but to actually learn and apply what I learned to real life. Yeah, so I find you heavy. I find you loaded there. I find that one flying over my head, man. Break it down a little. Let yeah, me get. Yeah. I find she flying over my head. She say, I won't say good grades, but I would say no, learning. No, right, because some there. people they just. Cram. Cram, they just regard oh. what the teacher said. They don't really understand just to get an A uh -huh. and then they put them in real life situation. They don't really they can't apply oh. what they learn. So I don't want that. I want to apply what I learned. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm talking about good school year. Apply oh. what I learned. Alright, so you you're saying you must learn at the end yes, of the school year. Cram, learn. You oh. must learn. Yes. You learn. must learn. You must be able to take assimilate and and, and, yeah. and be able to practice and so on. And in the process in the process you're saying good grades will come yes they'll buy product right. of learning all yes. right all right i love i love i love i love that right very nice no 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 tell us um you guys are are, are teachers yeah right um <laughs> you're not parents as yet but the role of parents in, in preparing their students or their children um for school right for school and and helping them to succeed because we're talking about back to school yeah and there's a reason why we send our children to school, right? Um, the role of parents. The role of parents. Let me let me just read this quote here um, for you. Um, um, as as Seventh-day Adventists, we believe that true education means more than just pursuing a certain course of study, mm -hmm. right? It has to do with the whole person and with the whole period of existence possible to human beings, all right? Um, it is the harmonious development of the physical, the mental, and the spiritual powers. So the whole persons, you know? Yeah. Tell us, the parents, how, how can parents help students to achieve or to realize um, this, the harmonious development of all, of all of the faculties? How can parents be involved? Well, first of all, this quote is um, so correct because some time ago, right, that's the World Health Organization. Mm -hmm. They would have this, um, defined or described a human being as three-dimensional, right? right? Physical, social, and spiritual right well i don't know if that has changed in recent time but um the spiritual aspect mm -hmm. right is first and foremost for the parent mm -hmm. you see going to school we were taught that um there are different media for socialization right, right. the home the church mm -hmm. the school mm -hmm. right and um the school in some ways you know being a part of the system for over like almost 13 years now all right wow. i want to believe that 
what I would have seen in recent times, it's moving away from inculcating things like ethics and morals. Mm -hmm. It's just about more or less in um, the curriculum. Oh. But some time ago, I was in a development session, right? Developmental session with a, a gentleman, and he was saying, as a math teacher, right? You don't teach math, so a physics teacher, you don't teach physics, you teach students, mm -hmm. right? And I think, you know, looking at it from a broader perspective, he was more or less talking about you are teaching human beings, okay. right? So first and foremost, as a teacher, right, you have to go about improving the character. Mm -hmm. And this is where, you know, the parents, you know, we come in. It's not about, you know, being like an ATM machine. Mm -hmm. You know, you just give your children money and you think, well, I'm minding you, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's all there is, you know, to, um, to parenting. Mm -hmm. I think that is one of the greatest mistakes, you know, a lot of our parents are making. They are leaving that you know the improvement of our students up to the teachers. Mm -hmm. You know, truth be told, some of our teachers need character building for ourselves, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I'm speaking also for Christian parents, mm -hmm. right? With all the education you know we attain in this life, mm -hmm. the higher calling is to prepare your children for heaven, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this cannot be left to the school. Right. It cannot be left to society because. <laughs> Society is really in shambles these days. Right. Sig Sigapin, let me just recognize um, Jay uh -huh. Credlo Credco Braga. Mm -hmm. Alright, boy, sorry, for having that's, a, that's a tongue twister day. Yeah. Um, Kishan Francis is there, Shania Alexander Williams, yeah. Kellon Stone Crusher Williams, right? Right, good, good, good. Right, keep your comments coming, you know, yeah. um, on what we're talking about. Um, um, back to school, yeah? Back to school. The role of parents, um, how can parents assist in that? What would you term or define as a successful school? Let's hear from some of our young people and some of you um, viewing going back to school. What would you say would at the end of the school year, how would you rate or what would you um, use to determine how successful um, the year was for you, all right? Yeah. Um, Sister Joseph, what about you? Um, the role of parents as a teacher, how can parents, you know? So Aside from training them, mm -hmm. it is important to feed them. Feed them? Yes. Feed yeah. them, give them good oh, 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 oh. food. So, you know, exam is coming up. But I, when I was growing up, every time we had exam, mommy would give us split pea soup. Yeah, that's a great food. And she would say that's the brain food. Or every time she know we're in bigger study, she would Sorry. give us split peas or mm -hmm. some kind of peas. And it's important <laughs> that parents, I don't know if it, it is really true, mm -hmm. but it is important that parents feed the children. If they are hungry, when they come to school, they cannot learn. Okay. So it's important that you give them a good breakfast. I know some persons, they can't eat breakfast, they feel sick. So you put a sandwich in their bag. Mm -hmm. But I noticed a lot of the students, they would come and they would buy a buster by the person on the road. First thing in the morning, they'll have four lollipops in their hand and a barber. And so that? it's not that they don't have the money to get the breakfast, but that's what e that's what's easy in front of the road. Oh. So it's important that parents feed their children, right? That would help them develop mentally. Right. Also. And I want to interact with our online viewers. Yeah. Remember, we're on Facebook, we're on um, um, YouTube, and remember to like the page. So I'm coming to research, comment in a while, and then we see. Ethelyn Raddick, she says, happy Sabbath, folks. But but just, just before I get there, um, Angel, you are saying it's also, I think it's also important, as you were saying, I just want to drive in that day, that, that, the, that the students, because we're also talking to the students, while parents have a role, students must make sure that they eat well too, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, the, when they're given. All right? So Risa says, I can't speak for parents, but I know personal time with God in Bible study and maybe some simple as doing a little devotion before class yeah. she's telling you what works for her she's a student I think in attending university she's saying what work has helped me not only spiritually but academically as well and I have good grades to prove it mm -hmm. but the student has to want to spend time with God. Man, man, we said, bravo, girl. Yeah. I think the point was made. You know what she's saying? She said a little Bible text and a little devotion before class and then people studies, you know? That is so powerful coming from a young student. Eh? You're a young person, I'm telling you. That's not a parent, she said. And I know Risa, she's not a parent. She's a student. All right? <laughs> Ethelyn Radic says, happy yeah. summer. Dwayne Thomas, you're joining. Thank you, man. He says, hello and hi, right? Very nice, very nice. All right? Um... 
Um, we want to say angel you going on. <laughs> oh, you're getting on. Oh, you're getting on. That's okay. All right, Vanessa. Sanders is there. Very nice, Vanessa. We're very happy to have you. Shane and Wayne on the matter. We're talking about back to school. Any little advice you can give to our young people, to parents, even to teachers, you know, mm -hmm. we'll welcome it as they prepare because it's it's a whole package, you know, and so on. Alicia Joseph says, um, what I am realizing is that there are a lot of students who are emotionally scarred. Parents need to observe their children um, closely, mm -hmm. converse with them, right? Yeah, so definitely. talking about the role of parents as they go mm -hmm. to school, um, emotionally, you have to pay attention to them, right? Very nice. We're very happy for that. Um, Shirley Mark Jones says, happy Sabbath, blessed night. Shirley just joined. Very nice. Christian Twine just joined. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Ronald Phillips says morning worship is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Carissa, I want to put you on the spot a little bit. Yes, sir. I want to put you on the spot if that's all. You, 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 you know, that's what we do on Youth Live because it's live. Yeah? Yes, we yes. have nothing to hide. What you see is what you yes. get yes. on Youth Live, right? But I want to put you. Um, in talking about, about preparation and parents' role and so on, do you want to tell us a little bit about your, your, your parents' role, your mommy? I know your mommy very well, you know. Yeah. I don't think I know your daddy, but I know your mommy very well. Yeah. And you are in SUI. Mommy might be doing, must be doing something. Yes, when I come home, I have lunch, I have supper. Mommy always uh -huh. makes supper for so me. So what happened before you leave? Well, I make breakfast for me. Oh, okay. Morning. All right. But she'll wake me up. She'll find us over sleepy. She'll say, Carissa, get up, get up, help study. Okay. And she'll wake me up. So, so the role of mommy, mommy would help yes. wake you up to yes. study. Yes, yes. Right, very nice. And she'll find I'm, I'm up. Carissa, tell me to go to bed, you need to rest. Oh, so one yes. day she'll tell you, get ready. Yes. Uh, that's yes. nice. Seven o'clock, always, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she'll pray. Right. And she'll encourage me. She'll find I have enough dinner. I'm feeling down about that exam. I don't want to say, stop it. Be confident. You have it in you. And she'll encourage mm -hmm. me. And then, mm -hmm. yeah. So, oh, hold on, hold on. Man, you're making some poor fun. They're some senior, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, she said, she'll wake up. Mm -hmm. Right. The role of the parents. Because, I mean, if you give young people and children a time, yeah. they'll sleep until, you know, 12 oh, yes. o'clock. And that time, the lunch bell ring. <laughs> you know? I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. But parents rule to wake up the child. It, it doesn't look good. And it's, for students having to go to school late every morning, mm -hmm. you have to rush. And I, 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 I see children on the road all kind of hours yeah, just like strolling, strolling on to school, you know? Yeah. So the road is either something they not, you know, or they get up late and uh, I late already, so it's late. <laughs> so parents, you have a rule, yeah? And young people, you got to get up early. And then there are times when mommy say, you, you, I thought you say, yeah. mommy say, Time to go to bed. Go to the, time to yeah. go to bed yeah. because you yeah. need that sleep, yeah? yeah? So she's balancing the thing, yeah. right? Uh -huh. And then it's time to say, can you get up and study? Get yes. up and study, yeah? Yes. Right, very, and I heard you say she prays, she prays with yes. you and so on? Yes. Right, very nice, very nice. So you have yes. mommy backing you up in the back yes. there. Yes. <laughs> nice, nice, nice girl. And you seem so confident by the grace of God, yes. yeah? Yes. Right, very yeah, nice. Yeah, and plus, um, mm -hmm. parents have to be the best friend to their children. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. There must be a, an intimate relationship between parent and um, children, especially in the case, you know, mm -hmm. with the girls and those things, right? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if they are not a friend to uh, the children, then the children yes. might find friendship, you know, in other sources. Other sources. And in many other cases, you know, these other sources do not act in the best interest, mm -hmm. right? And um, they need to be a rock as well, a, a rock. support, as you were saying, mm -hmm. right? Let them know that you're behind your child 100%, mm -hmm. right? Make them feel like a hero, you know, you could do it. Don't mm -hmm. use, you know, belittling language, oh boy, you're stupid, you know, I don't know why I made you in the first place. Oh boy. Right, this thing can be demoral um, demoralizing. Mm -hmm. So it's not only about, like I said, you know, providing the finances. That is just a small fraction of the bigger picture, right? right? First and foremost, be a role model, mm -hmm. right? And a got very person, right? Mm -hmm. And show them the right example. Right. It's not a case, you know, do what I say, and not as I do, right? right? That's hypocrisy. Right. And um, parents have a greater influence mm -hmm. on the children than the teachers. Right. So, so pause there. Mm -hmm. Let, let's take. We're gonna come. We we get. We're gonna have a special music in in a while. But let's just take um um a few of our online viewers' comments. We're gonna come back. Then take the special music. We have Kalisha Kalkisha Edward says Happy Sabbath. Very nice. Sylvia Latouf says, um, you want to read for us, Angel, what she As says? parents, we need to teach our children responsibility mm -hmm. at an early age. Very nice. Morning worship, chores, hmm. proper breakfast. Mm -hmm. Proper breakfast, yeah. And right. the urgency of getting to school on time. On time, mm -hmm. very nice, very nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. 
Hi, Shakida. Right, Shakida. But, but hold on. Who, who is that? Shakibu. Shaki Boo. Shaki. Who is that? Shaki that? Shaki, Shaki Boo. Hi, Angel and Kelby's. Right. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. And then, right, we have Keisha Drake's Macintosh. What she says, Kelby's. Read for us. A child can be disciplined, intelligent, and respectful. However, it is imperative that the motivation to succeed is encouraged and fostered at home mm -hmm. and in the school environment. In addition, it is equally important our educators possess a distinct Quality, quality yeah. which is the ability to love each child equally yes oftentimes students encounter educators who interact with them on a one-size-fits-all basis ignoring the fact that different students learn differently mm -hmm. when educators fail to differentiate the type of learner each student is unfortunately they are innocently setting up the child up for failure oh boy educators mm -hmm. must always know that every child can learn and succeed mm -hmm. Just not on the same day or in the same way. Right. Overall, love coming from home and from the child's teacher can make a tremendous difference in the academic experience of the child, which is in turn lead to the child's success. Mm -hmm. It is important to know that a teacher can be filled with wisdom and knowledge and be able to deliver meaningful lessons. However, the bottom line, line, line is, once a child is convinced that he's or her parent, and the teachers has a genuine interest and love for them. Children love learn, learning and the teachers will love teaching. Mm, Alright, very nice. That's a wow. wow. More full boy. Very, very good. Right? Very Perform. Nice. Very, very nice. Thank you very much. Folks, let's take a break. You know, let's take a break. Um, stay with us. We, this is Adventist Youth Live. For those of you who join us coming from the Grenada Conference of Seven Day Adventists. And we are really talking about back to school. Let's take a break here. And we enjoy a special item of music. We'll be right back. Enjoy. Yeah. 
students and parents preparing them we know it's a buzz around you know god is great yeah and the one who can really keep them and, and guide them as they go protect them is god we've been emph emphasizing that all right all right and um, before we before we take took the break um i think our panelists just wanted to say something in terms of trade i think you'll you say you miss one that you really want to push in there yeah. push it in quickly yep. and then we're going to come back to a little bit of street talk just a little bit again you know um, for you to view and enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very, very important that parents build their child's confidence. Oh, so right. you praise them when they do something good. Mm -hmm. You support them. You let them know, you know what, you can make it. You mm -hmm. can do it. You are intelligent. Mm -hmm. um, just work hard at it. God is there for you. God can strengthen you. Mm -hmm. It is important that they do that. Mm -hmm. If you belittle them, then you recognize they'll go to school with their head down. They go to school already feeling that they They're cannot failure. make it. Right. They feel as if they are failure. So when they get to class, <laughs> man, it, it doesn't even make sense. I'm studying what Miss is saying. I might as well give trouble because mm -hmm. mommy already told me that I'm not mm -hmm. going to be anybody. So parents, it is very, very important that you tell your child that they are special. Mm -hmm. They can do it i am supporting you god is there for you you can make it and you would see that the child will be successful they will be brave they will be confident they will know that yes i can do it i can pass this exam i can learn right very nice very nice it's going good we just want to recognize jd okato jd okato join the uh, jd welcome man good to have you tonight i'm um, rakisha clark she says wonderful and Ronald Philip is just asking the question quickly, mm -hmm. just for brief comments, Pastor Hile. Um, how I guess you're asking, you know, the parallels. How important is Christian education in our world today? Tell us your your response. How important do you think Christian education is? Well, um, very important. I don't think it can be understated, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, we are preparing human beings mm -hmm. not only to live in this life, but Certainly. to know the life hereafter. Certainly. And um, things here, as we say, they are just temporal. Yeah. Right, so more, much more emphasis has been placed. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think the church have to take a little role because, like I said, do not leave it up to our society, uh -huh. right? To really um, encourage, right, Christian education mm -hmm. at a very early age because we don't want when the character is well formed and it, the child is seasoned, mm -hmm. it's much more difficult now mm -hmm. to um, cause him to change course, mm -hmm. right? So at a very tender age, mm -hmm. and again, that is where the parent comes in, right? Mm -hmm. The parent is the first, you know, um. Sure. Right, the first teacher, hmm. and the home should be the first school. Mm -hmm. And if that is um, taken into consideration, right, mm -hmm. then a lot of the problems that we experience now probably would not experience them mm -hmm. because, you know, the home would have done its homework. Right. But um, at times that is not the case. So it's something we all have to, you know, to our work together, mm -hmm. right, especially those of us who are Christians, yeah. you know, we champion the cause. Right. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Well, again, our cameras um, took to the streets, you know, uh, maybe to encounter a student or two. Um, and, and I'm telling you, these young people, they are upfront, they are open, they are honest, because that's Adventist Youth Live. It's live, we, we, you know, what you see is what you get, right? Let's take a break as we watch um, now from a student perspective, yeah, student point of view, um, a few questions about school and so on um, were posed to her. Let's hear what, 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 what they're saying. Are you looking forward to returning to school? Why or why not? Um, no, I'm not looking forward for school. Why? Most people not. I mean, I'm going to Form 5 and then that will be stressful. Let me be on them. Yes. Why? Um, because I would like to follow my studies and to be more educated so that I can get a job quickly to help assist my family to provide them. Do you think you made the best use of the last school year? No. As serious? Uh, 
I just talk, I sleep, I get trouble. How can I do better? Yeah. No. Why haven't you? Because I didn't study as much. What are some of the best experiences you had in school? Well, some of my best experiences is different classes, the interaction between the students and teachers, and the relationship that the students have with the teachers. Okay, then, um, what made you choose the school you are attending? Um, mainly because they wanted me to go to Conventry. I didn't really, I didn't really choose my school. It was chosen for you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, because we're not going to Tam C C, so then that is the only college in Grenada, so no other choice. Is this uh, just the same I could have gone to? Um, well, the reason why I choose to go to Tam C C is because I want to ensure that I got, get my associate degree in biology and maths and stuff mm -hmm. before I go on to um, study in university. So then I guess you have an educational plan. What's that? Yeah. What's that plan? What would you do? Well. I would like to um, do natural sciences in, in college and then go to USC and do theology. Theology? Yeah. Okay. Um, go to college and study business. What are your plans after school life is ended? Get a Christian man, get married and have me some good Christian children. Good Christian children? Good Christian children. Okay, that, that's good also. <laughs> Uh, um, pasta. A pasta? Yeah, pasta. High intentions, man. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yes, welcome, boy. I can't help myself in this studio. We can't help ourselves, boy. I tell you, that is Adventist youth, like we're talking. I love this girl, you know. I tell you, young people, they are up front, they are open, they are, you know, what, what did you say? To go and get a Christian man. Uh -huh. A Christian man, and you know, uh -huh. well, girl, girl, nice, you know, nice, thing, you know, you have to know Jesus, you know. Tell you, I hope that doesn't happen. We don't just want you to go to school and eat. <laughs> Why to focus, you know, and enjoy yourself, but you gotta stay focused, all right? Um, Gitan Thomas says, Great, he's there. Um, right, Julie Campbell joined, well said. Isha Mitchell, tonight's program is very timely, great topic, great panelists. Happy Sabbath, yeah. Thank you, thank you, say thank you, all you, thank you. Know. Thank you. Right, right, right. Lenroy Frederick said, Pastor Hilaire, um, my cause, my cause. I, I, I must say that I love this program, so Lenroy Frederick, my cause, my cause. So I'm not trying to put a name to the, you know? Right, very nice. I, I want to talk to Carissa, the student here. Carissa, you, you look forward to going, going back to school for another term? Well, you started already. Yes, so, yes. Yeah, you, 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 yeah. you look forward to a great semester and yes, so on. Yes, Right, very nice. Mm -hmm. um, you, you think you utilized the last school year, last semester? Well, well I wasn't. To school. Oh, you want to no, school? I just started. Oh, you just started. Oh, yeah. What you What you looking for to during this this semester? You know, what are to some get good grades to form good social networks to make friends, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you need to or, um display Jesus in my school life. Right, right. Oh, yes. yeah, right. I yes. love that. That is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What your your overall outlook, educational plan? You know, what you have in the top of your head. Um, oh, you want to become a doctor? Oh, you want to become a doctor? Like to hear that girl are looking forward, you know? And so on. Very nice. You, you have to have, I think, yeah. one of the um, street life, you know, talk to that. Right, nice. Okay, well, let's go um, we, as we come, we wrap up with the next time, last 10 minutes, yeah? Um, we just wrap up with a few things here. Um, highlight quickly for us a few distractions, right? Um, we're highlighting them. We cannot get into all of the details. But we just want to highlight them so that you can be aware, right? And and look out for them. Keep your eye open, young people. Mm -hmm. Parents, you got to keep your eye open. Some distraction. We're listing them. Mm -hmm. And then we list them. Then we give you how can you succeed. Some real powerful um, 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 encouragement. And then we're going to have a prayer session to close with the next few minutes as we wrap down, wrap up tonight. So what are some of the distractions? Quickly. There are so many. So yeah. I'll start off with friends. Right? friends. Yes, yeah, friends. yes. Bad company, right? Mm -hmm. So it is very important that ch children choose friends, their friends wisely. wisely. Uh -huh. So if you recognize that your friends don't like to study, mm -hmm. stay away from this person. The person who like to play, play, leave them aside. Mm -hmm. There will be a time when you get to talk and so on. Mm -hmm. So choose friends wisely. And it's very important that the parents know the friends that their children keep, Definitely. right? Mm -hmm. 
you should be aware of them so if the child comes and say mommy i'm going out with susan tonight mm -hmm. or this afternoon who is susan where does susan live who is susan's parents mm -hmm. right because friends and that's a, a famous saying friends will you go and, and they back. don't bring you back right mm -hmm. so it's very important that they have christian friends right. friends who share the same value as they do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what do you think some yes. of the distractions you are yes. student down in sgu down there and so on tell social us social media too much free time Oh, time management, time, time yes. management. Yes. yeah, is a is so a much free time. You could do wrong things and you could just like not focus and not keep up to your goals. So oh, right. Time. So manage your time, yeah, right. Good. What are some of the right, um, you, you getting preoccupied in the gadgets? You know, gadgets. the cell phone. You know, the um, the tablet, what have you, mm -hmm. right? Like I said, those things have their places, but mm -hmm. you have to strike a balance mm -hmm. because what you find happening then you have to share your attention okay. and there'll be conflict of interest and you lose focus. You know, take for example having your assignment complete on time. Mm -hmm. You go next morning, miss ask you for the assignment, oh, I didn't get time. Mm -hmm. Or because you up whole night, probably on Facebook, Facebook okay. you sleep in. Mm -hmm. So you can't focus. So those things could be to your detriment. That mm -hmm. is why we had, you know, the eight weeks of vacation. Mm -hmm. So you recreate, you find some time to, you know, probably socialize mm -hmm. on the media, but now for school is serious business. Serious business, yeah. right? Distractions, right? Mm -hmm. um, um, Time and liming and so on, man. Time management, all yeah. of those. Right, okay, good. And the list can go on, right? James Paul is there. We recognize you. Very happy to have you. Um, Gita Thomas says, Be good. You all love that program. Keep it up, yeah? Thanks for the encouragement, and you certainly are part of yeah. it. As we come down to the last moment, we're going to take some prayer requests. There's Rebuttler Joyce just joined. We're very happy to have you, all right? Um, Parents, I want to ask you, I want to ask you, um, because children, um, school, they're going back to school, there are going to be challenges, mm -hmm. a lot of challenges, um, problems, if you please, whatever you they make challenges. Um, where can they find help? Well, when quickly, they encounter challenges and difficulties. Well, and again, so the, the sacred book, the Bible, mm -hmm. right? This is the book that has all the solution, right? In whatever situation, whatever you go through, there is an answer, you know, for whatever problem you're facing. Mm -hmm. And I think about, you know, the three Hebrew boys, right? Mm -hmm. That is for, you know, the children going back to school and even you might be going to a new setting. Mm -hmm. Take, for example, those going over to secondary school, right? Mm -hmm. The Bible said, you know, in Daniel that Daniel and the three Hebrew boys, right? Mm -hmm. They refused to defy themselves with the king's mate, mm -hmm. right? In our setting, it basically telling us that they refuse, you know, to bend to peer pressure, okay. right? And when I say peer pressure, I'm here by talking about the negative, negative influences. Right. Mm -hmm. So they had their head on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. You see, they were not the only group that were taken, right? They had friends, mm -hmm. but the friends would have, you know, um, succumbed. Mm -hmm. That is why, you know, I'm saying you have to have a mind of your own, right? Mm -hmm. Be level-headed. And do not, you know, allow, you know, the bad company, you know, to um, take it down. So you can find, you know, strength in the Bible. All right. And that should be the first book, you know, you pick up before you even start to study. Right. Where can you find parents? Parents. Yes. Right. Yeah. Mommy, mommy, yeah, mommy, mommy, the backbone there, yeah? Yeah, parents, parents, you play a key role. Don't underestimate the role you play, right? Um, parents and, and uh, mommies and daddies, yeah? And so on. Where can you find strength? As, as you think about it, Judy Campbell says, wonderful program, bless, blessing, happy Sabbath. Sorry I tuned in late, but we're still glad to have you. You can still like and share now. Even after the program, people are viewing the program after we wrap up, you know, people. There's we Butler say good night, Pastor, and special good night and happy Sabbath to the Josephs. See, um, see you in school on Monday, Angel. All right, she teaches there, yeah? All right, I'm going to see you in school too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Yes, just tell um, us quickly. Each school has a counselor. We yeah. should have a counselor. Right. So it's important if you have a problem, mm -hmm. something's bothering you, you see the school's counselor. The school counselor. And the teachers are always there. And the, teacher. and the pastor yeah. is always there too. <laughs> Yeah, but you have a whole, you know, parents, pastors, teachers, counselors, mm -hmm. um, um, you know, um, persons. Sometimes there's an elderly person in the mm -hmm. community, community who is trustworthy mm -hmm. that you can speak to. And good and friends, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, and good, right. Yeah. Right, Valerie Tina just joined. Thank you, Laslin Panchu. Very nice. That name rings a bell. Some Laslin Panchu. From Sabo. Sabo, Sabo. Yeah, well, that, that rings a bell. I tell you, wonderful program. Um, keep it up and I'm watching from Canada. Very nice, very nice from Canada. You travel, but that name is very, very um, big, right? We're glad to have you. All right, folks, we want to wrap up now your core points for you know for young people, for children, and we want to pray. We're gonna have a special prayer tonight for our 
um, young ones going back to school, all the children going back to school. We're going to pray for them and put them in the hand of God. All right, so stay tuned for that. Gather around, hold hands together as a family. It's a family affair. Um, you know, fathers and mothers watching, boys and girls, join together. Make a little family altar right where you are because we're going to pray in a while and ask God to just take charge of our young ones, right? But of course, your final thoughts as we as we close, Paul, thoughts that you want to share. Let, let, let me start with Angel and we come around. We come around, right? So... First, you know, Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 says, mm -hmm. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of the power of love mm -hmm. and a sound mind. So right. fear doesn't come from God, right? Mm -hmm. God has not given you the spirit of fear. Go forth, know that you can do it. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. The psalmist David says, Delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall grant the desires of thy heart. In order mm -hmm. to succeed, you must put God first. Wow, mm -hmm. I love that, I love that, I love that. Uh -huh. yes. um, education, I will, before I come to you, education is extremely important. Mm -hmm. But as education, um, as important as it should, it should never come before your relationship with God. Re always remember that. I think mm -hmm. the panel has been sharing that with us and even online viewers that have been coming through over and over. It is important, but the relationship with God is paramount. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. Well, um, one of my favorite texts is um, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. Ah. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, right? And its righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Very nice. Right? So God first mm -hmm. and everything second place. The Bible say all these things, mm -hmm. right? When we, when we say all these things, I mean the good things, mm -hmm. right? Because some things are not good for you, mm -hmm. right? And for us. So the good things, you know, you go to school, you excel, right? Be the best that you can be. But stay away from the drugs. The bad companions, you know, the loitering, mm -hmm. right? Bad friends, and put on um, God first in all that you say and do. So I wish you all the best for the upcoming school year, mm -hmm. and go with God. Commit your ways, you know, to Him, mm -hmm. so that He can direct your path. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And that text you just used. When we put God in front of all of our concerns and ahead of everything we do. Mm -hmm. God, we can trust that God, that he will look out for the other things. Definitely. Yeah? Very nice, very nice. Always take time for God. Well, folks, we're very happy that you can join us tonight. We want to enter into a season of prayer for the closing moments of this program. We were talking back to school. And there are so many other things we can talk about, yeah, you know. Time. Plenty of things. But, you know, with the, with the time we have, time flies when you're ready. Judy Campbell says, learn not. Lean, sorry, 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 sorry. Lean not onto your own understanding. That's from Proverbs there, yeah? Mm -hmm. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. That's Amen. wonderful. Excellent way to, to conclude on our comments. Judy Campbell, we're very happy. All of you who viewed on Facebook, um, um, YouTube, we're very happy for you. You've liked, you've shared. Continue to like, continue to share and, and, and make sure that you join us as we continue to um, uplift as we continue to edify as we continue to praise God on this Adventist youth life week after week but we want to just pray tonight you know pray and we believe in prayer anybody out there believe in prayer oh praise yeah. the name of the Lord you might be going through a challenge young people you might be in doubt you might be thinking if I'm going to make it how how is this semester going to turn out what what sort of classes I'm going to have whether I'm going to be successful maybe you did not get all that you needed to go back to school and you don't see anyhow it's going to come through your books and maybe the computer or the laptop whatever it is but all these God know them and he can take care of them would you say amen yeah yes. um, there's a parent out there maybe still wondering where she's going to get the money he or she going to get the money to send that child to school and midway in the term the money is run out you don't know but god will provide yeah there may be a new teacher going out to the workplace for the first time yeah and you, you wondering how am i going to transmit that knowledge to the children students what kind of teacher i'm going to be hello God will take care of you. Put everything in the hand of God. Yeah, whatever state you are in, whatever, um, wherever you are sitting right now, um, as you get ready for back to school, right? God is in control. So let's sing that little chorus, you know. Um, whisper a prayer. Eh? Let's sing together, and then we're gonna have a special prayer tonight. Um, as we pray for the request and we pray, Tyrone says, pray for healing. Um, and we're gonna do that tonight for his wife. Um, Kisha Drake's Macintosh. Kisha, 
Um, that was our special concert guest. She says, pray on behalf of each boy and mm -hmm. girl returning to school at all levels. Thank you, Sister Keisha. Also, prayers for that teachers display mm -hmm. love, patience, compassion towards each child. Most importantly, that we will continue to be diligent students in the Word of God. Amen. Very nice. Yeah. Darian Kitten, that's some Kariku. Kar she says, oh. pray for my children to excel. 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 Yeah, excel in in the school, school yeah chomin bihari is there kim and strong wow a lot of them coming in coming in josh kato good night all what time does this program start please i'm late. always late but 7 30 7 30 right 7 30 i just want to recognize our online who's just coming in 7 30 every friday evening right um that's 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 that's, that's the time i guess your time zone you'll have to do the calculation and so on right 7 30 p.m right so you're going to do the calculations right um, thank you very much. We spar a pray in the morning. Oh, we spar a prayer at noon. Oh, yes, we spar a prayer in the evening. Oh, so keep your hearts in tune. God answers prayers. God answers prayers. may come in the morning oh jesus may come at noon jesus may come in the evening so keep your hearts in tune almighty father in heaven we give you praise and we give you thanks because you are god and there is none like you Lord, we thank you for the Sabbath day. We thank you, Lord, for how you have led us tonight in our discussions and the comments. We thank you for all our online viewers. We thank you for our panelists and everyone who had a part in this evening's program. This evening, dear Heavenly Father, we present to you every boy, every girl of this nation, of the Caribbean region, of the world, who is about to return to school, different places are returning at different times, but we, we, we thank you, dear Heavenly Father, that you love them so much and you want the best for them. And as they prepare to re return to the classrooms, they may have different fears, they may have different challenges, but help them to know that there is no challenge too big that God cannot handle. We pray in the name of Jesus, the Heavenly Father, as we place all boys and girls in your care, that you would cover them, you would protect them, you would envelope them, you would deliver them, you would heal them, you would save them, you would bless them, the Heavenly Father. And as they go out, the Heavenly Father, no weapon that is formed against them shall prosper, but they will be protected and guided by the hand of God. As they go out and as they come in, you will watch over them. We pray that you would grant each one of them success. Help them to know that you have great plans for them, plans to prosper them. So as they face the classroom, as they face the subject areas, oh God, they may put you first and you would expand their mind. You would touch them, you would anoint them and they will be successful. Help them not to compare themselves with others, but as they lean on you, you would grant them understanding. You would help them, dear Heavenly Father, and at the end, they will be successful all to the honor and glory of God. We pray for parents that they will support. We pray that you would provide for them the means so that they can continue to send these children to school. They can provide for them. The Heavenly Father, may there be no lack in families tonight, the Heavenly Father. We pray tonight, the Heavenly Father, for teachers who are going back principals and heads of departments that you would overshadow them you would grant them love and patience and tact and wisdom the heavenly father so they'll be they'll be able to 
share and to take care of these young ones that you have entrusted in their care. Tonight, dear Heavenly Father, someone needs a financial breakthrough. There is someone who needs healing, dear Heavenly Father. There is someone who needs Jesus. There is someone who needs love. Oh God, all of these people tonight, we present them to you. And Lord, we look forward to the day when sessions like these would have come to an end and, and, and Jesus Christ comes. May he find every young person, every boy, every girl, every man, every woman, each one of us faithful as we trust and as we depend upon him. We thank you, the Heavenly Father, for hearing and answering us tonight. In Jesus' wonderful name, let everybody say amen, amen, amen. and amen. Well, folks, thank you very much. This has been another episode of Adventist Youth Live Unplugged. Thank you very much, panelists, Angel, Joseph, uh, uh, Kelvis, Joseph, welcome, and welcome. Carissa Gibbs. Thank you very much. And all of you for viewing um, online, we thank you very much. Remember, next Friday evening, 7.30 p.m., we'll be back with another episode of Youth Live. God bless you. God bless you. Have a good night, and see you next week. Until then, take care. For you with contrite heart Humbly I surrender all that I am I want to learn from you Please draw me close to you Help me share your love and grace in all I do Lord, I come before you with contrite heart Humbly I surrender all that I am I want to learn from you
to a darkened world And always hear the truth in every way May your love for me be seen by everyone And lead others to trust and love you more